so now we're here at the ski resort in Yangtze. And so when you come in, you can get uh, your ski gear if you want to go skiing here. Also, this is where we can have access to the different countries' houses. So there are a couple of um, national hospitality houses set up here on the slopes. There's the Swedish, Swiss, and Slovenian houses here. Um, they've all got national food and drink. And it's like a big clubhouse. So let's go. Okay, so this is where you go skiing. I don't know if we're gonna have a chance to go skiing today. If I do have a chance, I'll try, but I did it five years ago. That's how I knew the Olympus was coming. Okay, now we're here at the Swedish house. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check it out. here at the America House but unfortunately I can't go in and film I can only take a few pictures it was actually pretty cool um, unfortunately you have to be pre-registered to come in and it's actually pretty expensive $300 to get in so they let us go around through just check it out but we can't stay all right so on to the next place Right now we're here in the Tower Plaza. In this area there's like a lot of restaurants, a lot of uh, nice little exhibits and things. And we're on our way over to the Slovenia house. Now we're here at the Slovenia house. They're gonna give us a tour around. We can go uh, see different parts of the house and uh, some of the cool stuff they have here. Here is the um, list of our medalists in the history of modern Olympic Games. These are all, I think, this is the first one, 1912. But keep in mind that we're quite a tiny nation all, with only 2 million inhabitants. So in Sochi uh, we won 8 medals, which was, I think, second or third per capita result. So we're usually pretty, pretty high on those, uh, those charts. Uh, for instance, in Pyeongchang uh, we have 71 athletes and if the ratio uh, to our total population would be the same with the US, you, you guys should bring 12,000 athletes. We're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite a sporty nation. Like this, it's quite, it's very common in the Slovenian countryside. Oh. It was uh, used in the past for farmers when they cut the grass. They put it uh, on these wooden structures to to dry. When the grass was dry, they store it in a barn-like thing. It's like this, mm -hmm. and it is. Um, you see the the crosses I do. around. It's that structure. Okay. So this is like a 
things are still... I just have more questions. Yeah. Uh, the big furry oh, yeah, yeah. thing out front. Let's go there. This is uh, like a part of very ancient, ancient um, Slovenian tradition. And he, uh, the custom's name is Kurent. And the festival is Kurentovanje which was put on UNESCO list last year. Mm. Uh, so the summit was in South Korea, so we decided it's like a nice link to display them here. Uh, but I will show you how their event looks like. But the point behind them is um, they're like an ancient uh, demon in a good way, and they jump around and ring their cowbells. And in a way, they they try to push the winter away and greet warmer times. So it's like a, a really, really old tradition, but it's still um, going on. And yeah, like a friendly monster. And ten of these guys were here in, in the Olympic Games cheering for our athletes. They were quite a sight, quite uh, eye-catching. Eye so uh, they were also in two or three hockey games. Mm. And when they start to rock their <laughs> their things, it's uh, it was pretty nice. So if you go further, so this, uh, this thing on the wall represents two things. One is our NOC logo. Mm -hmm. You see it right here. There and it's included in our coat of arms. You see, see like a tr uh, it's like a mountain with three peaks. We call mm -hmm. it Triglo. It's our uh, highest mountain in Slovenia, mm -hmm. and it's uh, found throughout national symbols everywhere. Mm -hmm. This is the print of our only medalist right now, but uh, we're expecting another one today. But this one it's is a biathlete. Biathlete. He won okay. uh, uh, silver on in 20k event. Uh, and probably the. Second to last thing is this uh, space here. We host here our press conferences and also some other events like uh, medal ceremonies, uh, our internal uh, events. So um, we couldn't be as big, as shiny as some other houses, but we try to achieve exactly this, you know, to be like a very friendly environment with, uh, with look and feel of a living room. Mm. So we went for that and I think uh, we did quite good. <laughs> so yeah, you can see our it's very comfortable over there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so the last feature of the house are probably these lampions uh -huh. um, that glow quite nicely in the, in, uh, in, in the night. Um, the story behind this is that uh, when we came to Korea like a year ago to inspect different places where we should put uh, our house, uh, we also went sightseeing and to one uh, Buddhistic temple when we saw these uh, lights uh, on the ceiling and we asked what, what, is, what, what is going on, what, is, uh, what are those leaflets there and um, they told us that our good uh, wishes from Korean people to their family and friends. We took that idea and transformed it into um, uh, into that, that you can see the wishes of little kids from Slovenia to our athletes in Pyeongchang. Mm. Oh, nice. So mm -hmm. it's uh, like a connecting link between two cultures and yes. uh, people tend to like it. So uh, I think we, we hit the spot <laughs> with this one. So. Yeah. It goes really well with everything else. Yeah. Yeah. It fits very well. It does. Uh, maybe just another thing, uh, everything you see is imported from Slovenia, we'll bring it back uh, and it's a very modular type of thing so we can reuse it in different shape and form. It's just a pilot project for uh, next two Olympics, mm -hmm. we're trying to learn as much as possible for next editions of the house. Mm -hmm. okay.